developing now months after an electrical fire forced a downtown hotel to close just before Thanksgiving. Property management says they're ready to reopen. Do works for you reporter Jitsa Puente is live from 3rd in Boston where construction is still underway tonight. Jitsa? Well, Karen, I spoke to the general manager of the Hyatt Regency today. He tells me they're thrilled to finally be reopening and they will be sharing some of the new renovations in the coming weeks. But for right now, the staff is ready to start booking guests this Friday. Some of the last guests the Hyatt Regency Tulsa saw were a group of runners in town for the Route 66 marathon. More than 400 guests and staff were forced to evacuate. Two months worth of water damage restoration later, the hotel is getting ready to reopen. Crews are putting the finishing touches to start booking guests. Yes, yes, I'm looking forward to it. For some people working next door at the Performing Arts Center, it means a place for their performers to stay. Some performers um, in different groups that would come to the PAC, they would actually um, uh, make reservations at the Hyatt Hotel, so I know for us here, it was really convenient for um, performers and actors to use that hotel. It's also good news for many hotel employees. Property managers offered to let all of them keep their jobs. The fire shut down several businesses here, and one favorite spot won't be coming back. Periodically, I would go to um, Topeka to pick up a cup of coffee. While the coffee shop isn't planning to open up on Friday, the Daily Grill restaurant inside the hotel is planning to reopen. Like the hotel, they've tried to keep the workers who were there before the fire. The hotel currently has 157 workers, many of them who were employed before the fire. Reporting in downtown Tulsa, Jitzel Puente, two works for you.